Hey, hey teamers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, we're good now. Just had to get that out of the way. That's all right. Hey, hey teamers, it's Andy here um, with your tip of the week. Um, I'm gonna be talking about crankbaits. If you guys have watched any of our videos, um, you guys know uh, I always, within reason, have a crankbait tied on of some sort. Um, it's a really good catch uh, bait to be able to catch some um, good numbers, and you can also uh, catch some really good fish on it. Um, we were out here the other day um, throwing, uh, we were fishing out on this deep um, road bed. Um, it goes from about 30 feet up to about 15 feet of the shallowest up on a dam um, from when they were building the lake. And uh, we were throwing, I was throwing a crankbait. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. So we were fishing this road bed. Um, so I was throwing a 6XD and sexy chartreuse shad. Um, and uh, I caught a, I caught one on there pretty quickly once we kind of figured out where they were sitting on the road bed. Um, they are sitting right on the edge of this bed. Um, when fishing out deep in offshore structure, it's really important to be pinpointing where you're throwing your stuff. Because if you miss it by 10 feet, you're probably not going to catch the fish. So you really got to be targeting exactly where you're at because they're probably not going to chase a long ways when they're sitting down there um, really hugging to the structure. Um, but so I was throwing this color here um, and then uh, Aaron was throwing a Nico rig um, and caught a three pounder, something like that, three, three and a half pounder. And uh, when he brought it up, um, it was spitting out a whole bunch of shad, um, which was a little bit different color than this. So I switched over to a gizzard shad color, um, 6XD. Um, these will get down to about 20 foot if you're throwing them right. And uh, so this color, um, all of a sudden I started getting a lot more bites. Um, we pulled several, um, you know, two and a half, three pounders off this road bed just from throwing, just changing colors um, to really match what they were targeting and eating. Um, so it's really important to make sure you know what your fish are targeting and eating in order to catch them. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is uh, your rod setup. Um, it's really important um, to have a good setup when throwing crankbaits because if you don't get the depth out of your crankbait, if you're not dragging the bottom or hitting structure, you're really going to struggle um, triggering bites. Um, I throw a seven foot medium heavy angler rod. Um, this is $12.99 at Academy for this rod. Um, it's got a fairly quick tip, um, which kind of allows you to load up into them fish. Um, when they're hitting it because you don't really set the hook so much on a crankbait fish You just kind of lean into them and uh, I didn't know how well this rod would perform But it's really turned out to do quite well on the on the deep fish. i um, really getting that hook set um, nice and hook setted <laughs> I'm leaving that in there though <laughs> um, uh, The next thing on here I got a Abu Garcia max winch. It's kind of their uh, pretty much their lowest end uh, cranking model reel. Um, it's meant to throw crankbaits. Um, it's a 5.4 to 1 gear ratio, so it's nice and slow, which really helps you get that depth out of your crankbait. Um, and then I'm throwing 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon on here from Seaguar. Um, we don't throw anything except Seaguar. Um, we've had really, really good luck with it. And uh, if you really want to change how much depth you're getting out of your crankbait, if you want to get a little deeper, you can go a little bit lighter on the line. If you're trying to keep your crankbait a little shallower, you can go a little heavier on the line. Um, I find 12 pound really allows me to get um, the 6XD here down to about 18, 19 feet, um, which is about the depth I'm targeting. Another really important thing with your rod setup is being able to cast a long ways. If you can't cast them big, deep crankbaits a long ways, you're not going to get them down to depth just because there's simply not enough time for them to get down there. So I found this stuff the other day. It's called Real Magic. Um, you just spray it right into your spool um, before and after fishing. Um, it helps reduce line memory. Um, it allows it to just spool off easier. Um, and it probably increased my, my casting distance 25% or so. I can really sling it out there, um, which is really important. It's not just about throwing it far. It's about getting it down to your fish, especially fishing that deep offshore structure. Um, well, with crankbaiting, we also know that it's not always deep. Uh, we were coming out here today uh, just prepping for a tournament. Uh, we got a tournament this Sunday. And so 
we're just kind of trying to find some new things. We know how most of the fish get caught out here, flipping deep trees, um, some offshore structure, but we were find, trying to find something else uh, for a morning bite um, to kind of help us fill a limit. Um, and so I was throwing this little square bill here uh, on my same rod setup. Um, I'm throwing it in about 15 foot of water and, drag, and dragging it through a bunch of timber and everything. Um, ended up pulling a five pounder out today, just out here, just kind of searching for some stuff. Um, so you can also, it's not always the deep um, crankbite um, that gets me going. They pretty much, anytime it's on a crankbait rod, it gets me going. So um, besides that, um, if you don't already know, we store all of our hard baits in Plano 3700s. Um, they got this really nice gasket seal on them here. Uh, no water's getting in these things. They're staying perfectly dry. Um, and that'll keep you from rusting your hooks out, um, keep your baits in good shape. Um, and that's really important. Um, you don't want these things bouncing all over the place, chipping the paint. Um, you want the fish doing that. Um, so that's kind of how we store all of our hard baits there with the crankbaits. And of course, can't have too many, you know. Minor addiction. It's okay though. Um, so uh, uh, thanks for checking us out. Um, make sure you like the YouTube channel. Go check out our Instagram, Facebook. I think that's everything we have. Um, uh, make sure to like, comment if you want to see a tip on something else that we haven't hit. Um, we do a lot of different things. We hit several different lakes. Um, so maybe it's not necessarily our home lake. Um, I think we can do it on, but we can definitely hit on something when we go to a different lake to kind of fit something you're looking for that you need help on or just curious how other people do it. Um, so just let us know. Uh, make sure to share these videos. Um, we enjoy you guys watching. Thanks. See you next week.